hi guys welcome back to my channel so we're here today with another foundation friday and today we're gonna talk about this kvd foundation so if you want to see how this foundation work how it perform how it do its business you already know what to do keep on watching <laughs> Okay, so we are back and time to talk about this foundation. So the look is simple. Simple. So we're gonna talk about Miss KVD as soon as I can find my phone. Oh my god, I don't know why I put it. Found it. So we're gonna So this is the good apple. I actually tried the the bomb one in the compact hated it so today we're gonna try the good apple but this one is the full coverage serum foundation and it has 40 shades it's 42 dollars and what it is it's good apple serum foundation is a real mind f comma ck full coverage with a good natural finish Transfer proof extreme long wear with a lightweight serum fill. Non comedogenic. This foundation for is for combo oily skin plus acne prone skin. Covers everything from the blemishes to the acne scars to the hyperpigmentation, all while visibly blurring pores. Plus, it controls shine and turns up to the sweat and humidity. When you try it, let it dry. Good apple full coverage from uh, serum foundation. Shades look different when fully dry because of the high percent of pigment plus ingredients that has provided a stream long wear. When you pick your shade, make sure to let it dry completely to see the true color of the pigments. Okay, I did not do that. So this is 10. That makes me nervous. Cause I did not do that, I did not do that. I did not let it dry. Hmm. So let's check. The bottle is glass and has a pump. I don't know. I think this is a good shade though. And I picked the shade from by myself without even putting it on my face. Because I had a full face of makeup on and I'm like, mm, I don't want to take off my makeup. So this is a good, so this is definitely full coverage. This is full coverage. But man, look at that shade, man. Mm, yeah. So I don't even know if I'm using like a ton or not because, well, Cause I'm not really like when I use my foundation, I don't do a full pump to go like from the get go. I just do like half pumps, I guess. Why is my forehead so dry? So I don't think so. It's not. It's not heavy. It's it's definitely lightweight, but it is full coverage. I have some like stuff like scarring right here and it is not here at all so that is good that is Gucci move this up because I want to do my ears make sure to go in a crevice of my nose This is pretty. This is pretty and I'm, I just guess my shade. But I will give it that I was in the store. I, when I do it online, it's terrible. So if you bought my, my age, if you bought my shade, that was 660 tan. 
Oh, zero six six time. Okay, so this is how everything is laying. Everything is looking nice and soft and cute and very, you know, summery, I think. So, yeah. So, as usual, I'll give you my two check-ins and I will give you my final thoughts at the end of the night on if I like this foundation, if it, I don't like it, or, you know, the 911 on it. Or the 411. What's the 911? The 411. So, see you guys later. Sitting around with no something to shake. Nah, nah, I promise you I'll be one of the greats to influence the next gen. Hope they don't repeat my mistakes and all win. There's beauty in the mirror, keep loving your own skin. Everything in me for the public to keep eye on. I hope you have to handle the business, cause that's what I'm on. Yeah, cause that's what I'm on. Yeah, cause that's what I'm on. Bless the dialing, hope a place off of homegrown. Good girls coming, post haste. Hi guys, so I'm doing my first check-in. But look at this, this is so pretty. You know, I'm about to go have dinner with the hubs. So, for now, I'll be wearing this foundation uh, for about two, two and a half hours. So everything is still looking amazing. Um, No, pretty much. No creasing yet. So everything is still looking good. Um. Texas is hot though, um, so today would be a really good test for this foundation. So I do have like one more check-in and then I will give you guys my final thoughts at the end of the night on whether I like this foundation, if you should get it, because I know this foundation is $42 and which is not crazy expensive for a high-end foundation, but I know, you know, not everybody has $42 and if you want to spend it, you want to make sure it's going to last. So, yeah. So I'll give you guys my one more check in and my final thoughts at the end of the night. So I'll see you guys later. Yeah, they running five drills, I'm off for the chain and I'm high still. Looking like Scorpion, get over here. Missing people trying to relate, ain't close to here. Think it ain't a safe place, you done missing. Turbid relationships just ain't been worth it. Fool, if you think when I don't post, they ain't working. Never too close, I know no thing certain. I walk in purpose, float on surface, fly in person. There's some stuff you gotta be birth with. So right. my mark in cursing, bleeding my heart, soothing the soul that goes to hope. My best days to the slave to a dollar bill. I'm getting paid so bad I ain't dropping out of tip. I'm more thankfully grateful. Cause these days ain't a thing promised to say. You and I promise to get a whole truth. When I find it, no the roast and no get loose. But somehow problems always trace you. Gotta face them all before flying. You must embrace the fall. Cause it can change the ball. guys so i'm doing my second check-in so by now i've been wearing this foundation for about four hours and yeah still pretty matte no creasing so the foundation still looks really good um lips is pretty much gone because i was eating you already know eating drinking like that's the pattern so my lips is pretty much gone but apart from that the foundation still looks really really good i really really like how you know how matte it is for a full coverage foundation so yeah everything still looks good so this is my last check-in um i will give you guys my final thoughts at the end of the night on whether i like this foundation or not so see you guys later Hi guys, we're back and time to talk about this KVD, what's it, apple or something, good apple, 
KVD Good Apple Foundation. So let's take a look. So my face is actually really, really matte. Let's see, let's see. So I have a little bit of shine like right here. But I don't have any, not even in my smile line. Like it's, it's very, very, very fade. And I've been smiling all night. So yeah, compare to this, this, let me show you. Cause I have the other version of it. So I have the balm. The good apple balm and the other one is like a serum liquid foundation this was terrible but this is so good like it, it just stays i've been wearing this foundation now so it's 9 p.m maybe around four so that's what five five and a half hours i've been wearing this foundation no touch up nothing i ate i walk outside and the foundation still looks amazing amazing so yeah so and I know the foundation is $42, but it's not crazy, right? Like if you're trying to look for a high-end foundation, there's the Tom Ford's and the um, Pat McGrath's and, you know, that's like 80, 90, 100 and something dollars. Like, you know, it can go up to be pretty pricey. And I know $42 can still be pricey, you know, for some people. Um, Ulta always have like... The more you buy stuff from Ulta, you get points, and then you can use your points towards it, like... And then, um, when Sephora has their, um, I think, what's it, the VIB sale, then you get 20% off, so then it makes it a little bit cheaper. So it just... There's other ways that you can, you know, pay less for it, and not have it to pay the $42. And they had a pretty good shade range, it was, um... 40, it was 40 shades and they had like a whole line of like darker shades like deep to deep dark and so it was like pretty balanced with like you know from like light medium tan um deep and deep dark i am in the tan category so yeah there was still like a whole other category after me and i know like i'm not like dark so and I don't like it either when foundations stop on just me as the darker shade because I'm like like if a shade that says tan that's what you know matches me definitely you know it's not gonna match somebody that's even a little bit darker than me so that's you know for me I don't think that's inclusive but the I think there was like eight or nine shades after my shades and I think I mean is there room for improvement or more shades at the end of the day there's always going to be room for more shades because we have like you know pink undertones red undertones olive undertones gray undertones like it's it just blue undertones like there's tons of different undertones so they could go you know hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of like shades but um it's a start it was it i would um recommend this foundation 100 percent because they have a good shade range the price is decent so yeah again would i recommend this foundation yes 100 percent I would recommend this foundation. It gets a thumbs up from me. So yeah, that's it guys for this foundation Friday. Don't forget to like, subscribe, join the family. And you know what? I'll see you on my next video. Bye guys.